But yeah, anyway, I wanted to talk about um, thoughts, you know, thoughts creating things, you know, it, it, we so powerful, man, we are so powerful, and sometimes we even be afraid of our own power, you know, sometimes we do. You know, on this journey in the beginning, you know, when I was learning about like the law of, um, yeah, when I was learning about the law of attraction and all, I was learning about it in the beginning and, and I thought it was really, really cool. You know, my thoughts was that powerful that they could create things, but I never really understood how in the beginning of my journey, how to implement that, you know, how to make my thoughts create the things that I wanted. And so along my journey, I would try, you know, meditation. I would try um, stealing my mind, you know, keeping my mind still, you know, thinking, okay, well, let me clear all of these thoughts. Let me not think, you know, let me just breathe, you know, let me just be, you know. And then, then, then I started thinking, okay, well, I'm going to, I'm going to have these thoughts during my meditation practice. And then. After my meditation practice, then I'm going to get everything that I meditated for, you know. I'm going to get those things. But I would come out of the meditation practice and I'll go back to my old thoughts, right? I was in a point in my life where I, I, I knew, but knowing is really doing, right? But I didn't really know what to do is what I'm saying. So then I, I took it to another level. And then I started living in the end, like, right? Living in the end, right? But then living in the end wasn't really all of it because when I come back and I would see my physical reality and I thought, okay, my physical reality is still shitty. Maybe I'm not doing that right. But then I got it. I brought my end, my wish fulfilled to my now. So now I, I, I got it. And so now I'm in my now. And so it's almost like being in your imagination state of being no matter where you are in your physical reality. Just being in the now of the abundance that you desire, the wellness that you desire. Why am I talking about thoughts creating things? Because I'm in a place in my journey where I've never been before. And maybe maybe some of you might not understand this because maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe you've never been here before. But... To give you an outlook on it, I have always been <laughs> a busy body, like, right? I like, always do. And I close my website for a temporary season. I, I, I retired. I'm, I'm, I moved to another state. And so I have time. Oh, my God. You know how people will tell you that time is your currency, baby? They're telling you the God on this truth. Time is the currency, baby. Because, see, when you have time, you have time to be. You have time to, to sift through your thoughts, man. When you, even when you change your environment, you have time to, to figure out, oh, I was thinking about that a lot. Oh, <laughs> oh, I wasn't being, I wasn't being in the now state of being with my human imagination in the now for everything that I desire. So you could, when you, when you have the time plus the new environment, plus you know about the law of attraction, oh my God. God, it's so beautiful. I wish everybody had it and could understand where I am in my journey. I'm so happy to be here. And I encourage you to appreciate and give your value to your time and what you're giving your thoughts or your attention to because it really, really matters. And I'm seeing that even more now in this place where I am in my journey because... <laughs> I can I can just be be whatever it is without distraction. I can be it. And it feels so good. And so when you're being it in the now, you're drawing it to you. And so so when you have all of these distractions, when you have like work, when you have like maybe you don't like where you're living or you who you're living with and you have time to think about the the void, the not liking, the the the, the the state of being where you are, you know, you you think those thoughts. Even when you're not saying anything, you project your thoughts on other people. But then when you clear it all out and you change that environment and you're able to sit, I'm talking about even even the, the, the po point that I made about not having furniture right now just yet in my in my house, right? Being in a house where 
I have hardly anything really shows shows me even more that I'm everything I am my thoughts I am the universe <laughs> it really helps you see that the universe is within and as within so without man it, it's it's really really a beautiful thing it's really it's opened up my mind so much and I'm so happy that I've arrived into this season of being able to be to be still and know that I am God <laughs> to focus on me man I encourage you to focus on you there's so much abundance in focusing on you it might people might tell us coming up that this thing here is the selfish thing but no 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 that's what you meet God at that's when you can sift through those thoughts at and become deliberate creators instead of creating by default that's where your joy at that's where your peace is at that's where your ability to create what any anything it is that you want that's where it's at man i'm telling you wait let me look at these comments because they're just rolling hey trey thank you for being here babe this is where i am on my journey with all those yes yes thank you thank you for being here <laughs> thank you yeah yeah imagination i'm working on i'm coming yeah, it is a currency. It is. Happy for you, sister. I need this. Hey, chosen me. Thank you for being here. Yeah. So, so, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. Yesterday, it, it just blew my mind. I can't stay on here too, too long because, you know, I'm in the desert and the phone go get a little too hot and I'm out here. I'm out here outside in the sun. So anyway, so here's the thing. Yesterday, I was sitting in, 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 in the living room. Man, it freaks me out in a good way, a good freak out, right? So I'm sitting there in the living room. You know, y'all know, y'all can see my living room. I ain't got a darn sofa or nothing, right? But I'm happy about my, my nothingness, right? And so I just sat there in a little chair and I'm like, wow, this is what I manifested. These house that I manifested, these floors, those cabinets, they're right here. I can touch it now. I really can touch it in physical reality. So on purpose, I went into my mind I went into my mind and I just began to imagine. Bye, y'all have a good day. Good talking to you, babe. And I began to imagine that, um, you know, the other things that I'm manifesting, like, right? Man, I closed my eyes, man. I'm telling you, oh my God, the peace. It was like I went on a trip. I astral project into their thing. I, I'm telling you this because you get to a place in your spiritual journey if you keep going it gets that that rabbit hole gets deeper and deeper and more powerful and more powerful and you realize god damn i am god i am god in physical form man it's so beautiful man it's so beautiful so i encourage you thought by thought that you sip through them shitty thoughts they might be a little shitty a little chaotic now but they're gonna clear up baby you gotta hold on to that that wanting though that knowing that i am that i am I am who I say I am. <laughs> this state of peace, this state of joy, this state of nothingness that I am in right now is everything. I encourage you if you a mother like once upon a time. See, I want to talk to the my reflections. You know, once upon a time I was a mother. Well, I'm still a mother. That a mother that always had to cook and, and, and work and go to school. And, and, and also I, on top of that, I was the wife too, you know. I was the, I was the sister that everybody depended upon. I was the daughter. I was the, the girlfriend. I was all of these things. I was, I, was the, I was the person that did everything on the job. So the go-to person, she, she, she'd take care of it. So put it on her desk. I was all these things to other people outside of me. Baby, baby, be something for you. Be everything for you. I encourage you, black woman, white woman, Asian woman, Mexican woman, who, whatever type of woman, whatever type of man you are, be still and know that I'm God. Be something for you, baby. Feel you up, baby, because you matter how you feel, thought by thought, day by day, <laughs> creation by creation. How you feel really matters. I encourage you, even if you have to go to the Walmart parking lot, even if it's at after you get off from work, when you go to that parking garage, you sit in that car and be still and know that I'm God. These are the things that I did. Even if you at the house and it's chaotic and they have so many people around you, wanting you, calling you. Maybe you need to turn that cell phone off. Maybe you need to go into your secret place, into your secret closet. Yes. Into a closet, your literal physical closet. Shut the door and make everybody think that you ain't home no more. Maybe you have to pull that car in the garage and turn off all the lights so nobody will ring the doorbell. But I'm telling you, 
you gotta be still. You gotta be still and go within because that's where everything is within. If you go within, you could bring it out of your physical reality. If you go within, it'll start showing up in your physical reality. I promise. It is my promise to you. That's how it works. All the love you're looking for, the abundance you're looking for, the joy. Hey, babe, how you doing? All the joy you're looking for is within you as within, so without. So it's so important. Y'all know that song? Can you focus on me? <laughs> Baby, can you focus on me? Say that and believe that for yourself. Do it for yourself first, baby. Ooh, ooh. Wait, let me see. Let me see. Greetings. Hey, Dion. Thank you for being here. That's right. Beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Thanks, chosen me. I am. I am that I am. Be who I am. Yes, I understand you. Thank you. Just as long as somebody get it. Just as long as I'm being a blessing to somebody because it's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. You know, and I, I often say this and I really feel like men, men kind of have this part of themselves kind of figured out because, you know, I have little young men and baby, how they feel matters. Even, I, you know, I've dated, you know, being married and all that. And I pay attention to men. Men make time for themselves, baby. Baby, men, some of the men be calling me for consultations and, and they be telling me some things that I'm like, oh my God, oh, is he into him? Is he into him? And that's how you're supposed to be, baby. That's how you're supposed to be. Be into you. Be into your mind. Be into your happy. Be into your joy. Be into your prosperity. Be into you. And so, 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 so. It's a lot. It's like I was at that frequency of being into all of those other things physically. So now I'm on another frequency because you know God wants to experience itself, all vibrations, all frequencies of itself. So that that's what I'm doing here. So now I'm experiencing the other side of self, which has all of this free time to be. Oh, and it's the most beautiful part. Oh my God. Hi, how you doing? I'm good, babe. Perfect. <laughs> hey, hey. No, I didn't see nobody go up in there. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was outside, like I said, in the desert. So my phone don't last out there at all. It got overheated. It got overheated. But that's, that was really the gist of it all. That was the gist of it all that I wanted to share with y'all. It's so important. Don't forget that all, you know, because sometimes we'll get on TikTok and, or maybe YouTube or whatever, and we'll listen, we'll listen. There's a time to listen and, 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 and digest all of the stuff that people saying. But don't forget, you it's a pivotal moment when you don't forget, like, to stop listening and start doing it, you know? You got to implement it at a, certain, at a certain point in your journey. You got to implement all of the stuff that you've heard people say about meditation, about thinking, about creating your reality. You got to implement it. And when you start to implement it, that's when you grow. That's really when the journey really starts. Because because you, you any other time, you're just like a student in, in the class. Like, you know, you're just digesting stuff to go in your mind. But the real, real, real moment of tests of time is when you go out there into the physical reality and you bring in this here with thought process with you when you mentally creating your reality thought by thought by thought <laughs> and so and when you begin to do that you, you can look back on your journey you can see your results you can see your growth you can see that you're not wobbling like you used to do in this particular area and that makes all of the difference it really does it makes all of the difference in your physical reality and that's what I'm talking about today about my journey about okay when 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 I was listening and digesting this thing I was listening to my Abraham Hicks of the world I was listening to my uh, Lisa Nick Lisa Nichols of the world and I, I, I was I was seeing them and I was I was just observing them and, and everything that they said I, I was paying attention to their background and I know some of y'all probably be doing that with me paying attention to the backgrounds paying attention to the things that's happening in their reality paying attention to let me see if this really working for them per se but when you take your eyes off of me and take your eyes off of them and start doing it <laughs> when the growth uh, starts that's when you can you can you can realize that oh okay okay the reflection of my physical reality is my thoughts so this is this is my lesson this is my test 
I don't need to pay attention to Abraham Hicks. I don't need to pay attention to God is just me. I don't need to pay attention to anybody outside of me. Let me start paying attention to me. Let me focus on me. <laughs> And it's a beautiful thing when you can look back of all the things that you focused on and how your journey, how your journey has risen, how you went back up and you vibing, you evolving, things are being drawn to you, how you ain't got to get up and go nowhere and do anything. All you have to do is think and be. Think that thought. Because you ask and you receive in this spiritual journey. And it, it even ties to fool. You know, I'm really, really... Thank you, Chosen. Um, choose me. I'm really, really health conscious. Let me let me share this too before I go. I'm really, really health conscious, right? But this is this is another pivotal part of the journey that I want to share. So me being health conscious, conscious is pretty much based upon the program that I have given myself. See, we go through different types of programs, like right. But here's the thing. <laughs> You gotta understand that the matrix have this little program in itself, but to trump the matrix, all is mind, all is mental. So even with the program of being health conscious, like for example, uh, eating fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds and herbs and, 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 and drinking your water, that's a beautiful part of the journey, but there's an another level to it too. Outside of that, you should be, we should be evolving to the level where no thing can harm us because it should be a mental diet like a quantum jumping into the idea of I can eat anything I can digest anything but until we get there in the physical reality we 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 like I for example I manipulate the energy and so if I know I have a subconscious thought about let's say tap water for example I was sharing that with y'all the other day if I have a self-conscious thought about tap water being full of mercury and lead because I heard it so much and that's a belief now right a belief is something that we told ourselves over and over again right so it's a counteract that we can use certain herbs but it's really us we can put the cilantro in there and counteract that thought of it being toxic because we already know that like cilantro for example it gets rid of of heavy metals and mercury and all the lead and stuff and stuff in the water right so we could put the cilantro in our food in abundance in an effort to clear our body but check this out though if we think a little bit further than that if we think about the idea of all being god meet that tap water is god too that tap water that you're talking about got chlorine and and all this here inside of it lead and mercury and all this it's god too nothing can exist at least it be our consciousness is about all things <laughs> and that that's even applying to what we eat you see to what we think like even when we have a so-called shitty thought or low frequency thought versus a high frequency thought guess what that low one was still god too it's just vibrating at a different frequency don't don't get it twisted but the interesting thing about learning this and knowing this is like oh okay if i was vibing at a low frequency and I did this here in between to manipulate the frequency. And now I'm here at this higher frequency. I did that thing. It wasn't the cilantro that healed me. It was really me. I just used the cilantro to manipulate the energy. But it was really my thoughts that did it anyway. <laughs> we are so powerful. But we put these things in, in place of, 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 of our physical reality. So we'll think it was the cilantro. We'll put, we'll put it in place. <laughs> To make it seem like, oh, it was that pill. Oh, it was the fact that I was at the gym and I was working out. No, no, no. It was your your mind. It was your thoughts. You created that. Even when we're working out, like when we're thinking about gaining muscle, like I'm here at the, the fitness center today. When we gaining muscle, I just got out of my little um, morning class, ultimate conditioning. And so I was thinking as I was as I was working out, I was thinking about the muscles. I was thinking about it. it is your thought. It is always your thought. This is why I do not talk about no health and wellness no more on my channel. I don't talk about the herbs and all of that that heal you. Because I want to be on the next level of expansion. And I want you to come there too and open up your mind to the idea of the fact that it's you. You the peel. You the herb. You the fruit. You the vegetable, you are all because nothing exists outside of you. And so when you begin to think that way, <laughs> you begin to embark on your true power and your true God-given birthright that all is God. It's all you. You, your reflections, you are everything. 
because everything is energy, frequency, and vibration. Everything. You're brilliant. Hey, lion. I didn't know you was up in here. Yeah. So that's the place where I am in my journey. And I want you to come, baby. I want you to come.